Well, good morning, everybody. How y'all doing today? Hope everybody's having a good one. You got yourselves BP here from BCP Farm and Trucking. Anyways, today was just another day on the road. Ran up to Saskatoon, came unloaded, reloaded, came back. Never got back in time to unload, so here we are heading into the city. It's 8.30 a.m. on Thursday for uh, Thursday, December the 16th, 17th, something like that. But anyways, yeah, we're just heading into the city to unload. And then we got a reload at Flame Fabricators and run a load of steel out to uh, Yorkton, Saskatchewan. So that's what's involved here today. And so far, she's uh, kind of a nice day. It's supposed to warm up quite a bit today. Minus 10, so that's not so bad. Minus 10 Celsius. Not sure what that is for all of our American friends out there, but I'm sure if you guys really want to know, you can do the con conversion quite quickly. It's probably somewhere around, what, I don't know, plus 10, plus 12, maybe. Uh, Fahrenheit, something like that, I'm assuming. I don't really know. Not without Google or to do the conversion myself. I ain't going to try doing it as I'm driving anyways, that's for sure. But let's get to the city to Anlin and unload these pipes and then get our butts over to Flame. We're supposed to be there for 11 a.m. to load up. They figure it's only going to take an hour to load. Well, yesterday it took us an hour and a half to load and we only had four 4,000 pounds on. Today is 8,000 pounds, just over eight. And they're saying, oh, our top side. Yeah, I highly doubt it. I'll probably won't get out of there until friggin' one o'clock. But anyway, we'll see what happens when we get there. We'll bring you guys back then. Alrighty, well, we got that stuff dropped off. And it looks like we're gonna be quite early for flame, but whatever. Um, here's the deal, guys. So, the stuff that I just dropped off was actually supposed to go to K plus S potash mine here in Saskatchewan. And when you go there, they have a questionnaire, COVID friggin' questionnaire. And on that questionnaire, one of the questions is, have you been out of the province, not out of the country, but out of the province in the last 14 days? Well, in my case, yes. The second question on there, or another one of the questions on there, is have you, or do you, have the COVID app? So basically what this COVID app is, so if I've been in contact with anybody that has had COVID, it'll notify me that I'm in close contact with this person that has COVID. So if I happen to go to the grocery store, or if I'm at a loading or unloading dock somewhere, and someone has COVID or has had COVID recently, then their phone connects to my phone and I get the notification and it records it and tells me, and also would tell them because they're going to want to see. They said they'd like to see the phone if, to see who I've been in contact with. Well, I don't have the freaking COVID app. I'm sorry. I'm not downloading the COVID app. I only go to K plus S like three times a freaking year. So basically they can kiss my ass. How's that sound? I'm not saying that the app wouldn't be a handy thing, especially if you're at a grocery store or out shopping, especially this time of the year. But... I ain't freaking doing it. I got enough shit on my phone. I don't need to download some goddamn app and fill out all the questionnaires and all that bullshit. That's the only place that I've been to uh, in the past year that has asked these questions. So, Yahoo. Like, I've been to lots of other potash mines. Uh, BHP Billiton up at Janssen. 
I've been to Mosaic K1, K2, K3 out in the Esterhazy, Rokenville areas. Like K1, K2, K3, some of you guys may remember going with me out there. That's three different potash mines all right close to each other. It's all owned by Mosaic Potash Corp. I've been to SPC or Sask Potash Corp. So, and none of them has asked for this goddamn COVID app. Uh, so yeah, anyway, just my two cents. And so now we're on our way to Flame and uh, we'll see about getting loaded up there. So we'll talk to you guys then. Well guys, here we are at Flame. We're loaded up. I'm strapped down. This is one goofy freaking load, let me tell you. And because of some of the product, it's icier than hell here. But see this channel? All this channel with these angles sticking straight up? I can't really stack anything properly. So, this is what she looks like. And we got two stairs. And almost all my weight is on the passenger side of the fucking trailer. Pissed me off, but I can't stick pallets on the other side with those friggin' with that shit over there. So, it is what it is. I got a flag here, I got a flag up there, that, that piece is sticking out. She's gonna be a fun trip. And at this point, nobody can give me the friggin' contact info or the address in Yorkton as to where the hell I'm going so let's go inside and see if we could find somebody that knows something talk to you guys in a bit well we're finally on the road guys we finally got all our paperwork and contact info and address as to where the hell we're going and whatnot out of flame um, yeah pulled in there at friggin 20 after 10, started loading at 10.35, and didn't leave there until 1 o'clock. So they told me, yeah, it'll only take an hour to load. Yeah, right, hour. Two and a half friggin' hours. But whatever. It's loaded up, and we are on our way. So about a two-hour drive to Yorkton out of Regina. Anyways, we'll get there, we'll get unloaded, and I'll bring you guys back at that time. Talk to you then. Well, here we are, guys. We're at the job site, and look at that. We didn't lose anything. And they told us the last couple weeks, last couple deliveries, guys were losing stuff. Well, we didn't lose nothing, it's all here still. And so. Well, guys, that's her. We got her fucking unloaded. And we're out of here. In the big humbug city of freaking Yorkton. By the time I get home, it'll be dark. So loading for tomorrow is going to suck a little bit. But what do you do? So yeah, we gotta go home. And those gates that I built for my brother, we're gonna get those loaded up. And uh, tomorrow, we're gonna head on down to my brother's place again. And maybe even help him. The plan is to basically- Take the next ride onto 6th Avenue North. Built for inside his barn. So, so yeah, that's the plan for In 150 tomorrow. meters, turn right, right onto 8th Avenue Let's North. Let's get the heck home and uh, Turn right onto 8th Avenue there, North, then turn left onto... Alrighty guys, well we're home and we're loaded up. We got all the gates on here. Two 16 footers, one 11 footer, and then this one down here that uh, is laying down. That's the one for inside the barn. Strapped down, ready to rock and roll. We got the hinges. And as far as I can tell, I've got all the tools I need. 
some batteries for the powered battery power equip for the install yeah she should be uh, all good to go so with that I'm gonna let you guys go I'll bring you guys all back tomorrow when we're doing the install and for the tour on down to Wood Mountain Saskatchewan again so looks like Tristan was busy in here today cutting some steel cutting some stuff there there that pile this pile and I noticed oh he's got a few more over there these all have to be pressed on the ends yeah and I saw he brought a bunch of st steel up from the up to the rack outside here right there and so he was busy today so yahoo good job kiddo uh give us the old thumbs up comment subscribe tell your friends and neighbors uh if you want to get a hold of me in another way you can uh message me instagrams or facebook and facebook messenger brendan panna just search me out on uh either of those right and go from there so like i said uh brennan panna on facebook or brennan panna on instagrams you'd be able to get a hold of me that way so we've got some big news coming up here after christmas and uh we'll let you guys all in on that once uh christmas is here and gone it's getting real close for all you young folk out there santa's a coming so anyways fun 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 Let's get her done. Talk to you guys tomorrow. Okay, so we got KFC here for supper tonight, and I believe I got ripped off because I believe that that's a front chicken leg, not a rear chicken leg.